do to do you try to slow them down or you just try to stay with their pace and how so? No, it's college football. I mean, we've played fast-paced teams before and we'll play them again. I mean, it is the way college football is, so we understand that. And we know as soon as, um, you know, we make a tackle, we need to get lined up and go play, so we'll deal with it. By having guys who can play multiple positions, does it help you deal with that better? Well, I think any time that you have guys that, you know, you, because of the number of plays you play, you do need to, you know, give some guys some breaks and uh, play multiple guys. So I think any time you have guys that can play um, – or you have more depth, I mean, I think that helps you. So, um, you know, having the ability to play guys in different spots can help, you know, from a um, from a fatigue standpoint, yes. What is the, the Dun- Dungey, the quarterback kid from last year to now? What's he different at? Or it seems like it's a different offense, obviously. Yeah, I mean, I think that he is good at this offense. In other words, um, the quarterback adds a, a new element to the play from the standpoint he can run the ball and off of the runs he can actually throw it. You know, they actually have runs where he can give it, but based upon the look, he can throw the ball down the field based upon what he sees with the um, with the matchup. So um, did a really good job the other night. Um, he's athletic. He's he's hard to tackle. And, um, you know, he's, he's kind of made to run an offense like this. Are they, are they especially fast? Are they faster than other teams as far as? I mean, it's college, you know, um, college football is fast. So, um, you know, we deal with it. Is um, – you mentioned Josh before and the mm-hmm. whole preseason about moving him around, but he, mm-hmm. but but after watching it for a game in the dime, in all the dime that you guys ran, mm-hmm. I mean you can put him anywhere, right? Pretty yeah, much. I mean like I said, I think he's one. Of the, he's probably one of the most um, versatile athletes in college football from a standpoint defensively, as far as he can play our nickel position, he can play strong safety, he can play money backer. Um, he gives us the flexibility with that. Um, you know, but you know, Stacy did lead our team in tackles in the last game. So obviously, we've got a talented player there. So we'll continue to work him and develop him, and just try to get the best guys on the field to give us a chance to win the game. What about up front? What did you see off the film from the other night from you guys? Did you feel like they played well for you? Yeah, I thought we played better as the game went along. Um, you know, we uh, cleaned up a couple run fits after the first series, which I thought was good. Um, and I thought our I thought our conditioning was good from a standpoint of uh, I didn't really see anybody gassed. Uh, from that standpoint, so uh, I think I think that for our first game we were solid in what we needed to do. Uh, obviously, we're going to face a stiffer opponent this week that um, that had a dynamic game. So you know we understand we need to play, and anytime you play on the road in this league, anything can happen. So we know we need to bring our you know bring our game. Anything else about Syracuse stands out? No, I think they're a talented team. I mean, when you look at them, uh, the quarterback um, is very effective running this offense. He's um, he adds a dimension because he can run the ball. He's got a nice touch on the ball. He can hit the seam balls. He's got a couple guys outside that can win one on one, you know, with the matchups and things like that. And then when you look inside, they got guys that can move in space. So um, they knock you off the ball up front. So I mean, um, I think they're good at what they do, and they've obviously improved. Um, you know, they're, they're obviously excited about this system and what they're doing. So we know we got to play. Yeah, that was minus quite. They, they seem. Better, more explosive than the same personnel last year. Just running different. Uh, you know, it's you know. I think anytime there's a change like that, sometimes you get some energy from that. Uh, they pretty much dominated that game and could have scored as many as they wanted to in their first ball game. I mean, they had 550 plus yards, so it's pretty dynamic uh, for a first time out. So uh, we know we got our hands full and we'll have to play. Todd, is Chris Williams an example of a guy getting here? Early, you know, you got him here in January, and he was able to adjust. I mean, mm-hmm. he wouldn't be where he's at now if he would have just. Come yeah, I think that summer. that's a great example of why you want to try to get, particularly junior college guys here mid-year, because it gives them a spring, and then you know, once that spring is over, then they get the summer to uh, condition with our players, um, learn the playbook again, and then they start all over again in training camp. So, I think anytime you can get guys mid-year, it helps development, um, you know, in learning our system and learning how we do things and and how we operate, so I think it's a positive. All right. Thanks, guys.